that courage, anyone can be successful at Atomy, no matter what they've done before. Hello, everyone. I'm Imperial Master Song Il Kim. I met Atomy in a very difficult time. And as I grew step by step along with Atomy, I've become a very honorable Imperial Master. I am now living a proud life as a member of my family and society. Atomy, the world's most competitive company, has been founded. But it doesn't mean that Atomy's competitiveness becomes your competitiveness. You must have your own competitiveness. And you have to get the acknowledgement from your sponsors and partners for your mastership. They should be able to trust and follow you. They should want to brag about you. Looking back, I've had many ups and downs. I had even given up on Atomy business at one point. Even now, I'm sorry to see so many people who enter and leave Atomy business so easily. There must be a time of preparation. I feel like having that determination would be helpful. Since this isn't a business you do on your own, it's about persuading people with others and being the leader of a group when it grows in size. It was very difficult for me to meet my partners and as the number of partners increased, I found myself having to stand in front of them and say something. It was a fear for me. Everyone around me knows that. I used to run away when there was a crowd and I didn't want to show my red face and trembling voice. So I used to be scared of crowds and run away from them. But how would my partners judge me for that? They would be ashamed of me. And if you are ashamed of your sponsor, who would want to bring new customers to that shameful sponsor and entrust them to him? So when I got scared of failing at my business because of my partners being ashamed and avoiding me, I started to prepare in that moment of fear. I needed to overcome my fears. I made up my mind out of fear that I should be in the position where my partners want. That change of mind got me ready. The funny thing is, the moment I got ready and considered it my job, my body started to get ready. I experienced myself getting physically ready with a change of mind. And at some point, I found myself speaking many of the chairman's words through my own mouth to many partners. I spoke about Atomy's excellence, its competitiveness, and the right way to do business. I never thought I could stand in front of people with my quivering mouth, trembling voice, and red face. But I think I've overcome that to become someone who speaks confidently. It was possible because there was a process of preparation, and it was because of my courage to break down the wall that I thought that I couldn't do on my own. They're called obstacles. They aren't made by anyone. You can become a leader when you take down the obstacles you've created on your own, one by one. Then you grow as a leader and get closer to success. When I was on a tour of the US, I thought I lectured extremely passionately. I gave myself lots of points, maybe close to a hundred. But after the seminar, I heard something shocking. Why are you scolding us like that? We're working hard too. I felt a lot of things when I heard that. I realized that I was just blowing my own horn without relating to them. I was basically saying, I did well, but you guys didn't. Let's say you talk to your partners on a regular basis in a condescending or reprimanding tone. Or you just brag about yourself without acknowledging them. And if you're a sponsor who takes the credit for what your partners did well and just brags about yourself to others, your partners would leave because of you. You can't run your business well without your partners. So we all need to take time to reflect on what language we use. Anyone can consider themselves a decent person, but rather than the way you see yourself, the way other people judge you might be what you're really like. It's based on facts and objectivity, not our subjective thoughts. You can just ask your sponsor, they know the exact you. You can ask your partners, they know the real you. When you repeat that continuously, you can become a leader who has greater inner maturity. I think it makes my partners feel like anyone can have a meeting with me and succeed. 
That's my biggest change. And I've gained this confidence. With that confidence, it's not that hard to go up one step at a time. And you can even become an Imperial Master. Of course, you have to go for it. Don't ever give up. You have to trust yourself. It's a steadfast fact that you are fully capable of doing all the work you need to do with Atomy Business. Don't think you can't do it by yourself. You just need the courage to break down the wall. With that courage, anyone can be successful at Atomy, no matter what they've done before. I wish you all to be courageous. Ooh.